In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for Al plus Fe2O3, aluminum plus iron 3 oxide. So we look at this equation here, we have a metal, aluminum, and then we have another metal here, iron, that's bonded to the oxygen. So we're thinking that this aluminum might be able to replace the metal, and that would make it a single replacement reaction. So we think about it, the aluminum would come in and it would push the iron out, and then we'd have iron, Fe, by itself, and then the aluminum would be with the oxygen. So I'm just going to write AlO for the aluminum plus the oxygen. Let's make that little L like that, plus the iron. So that would be a single displacement reaction. But the charges aren't right here. We need to balance the charges, and we would need to balance the equation as well. So let's look at this. Aluminum, that forms three plus ions. If you look on the periodic table, it's in group 13. In oxygen, always forms two minus ions. So to balance the charges, we can use the crisscross method. We could put the two here and the three here. So now the three times minus two, that's minus six. This three times two here, plus six. So those charges cancel out. So this is the right formula for this aluminum oxide. With single replacement reactions, one question we have to ask is, will the Al actually replace the iron? Is this active enough to replace iron? And to figure that out, we use the activity series here. So on the activity series, we can see coming down, here's aluminum, and then here's iron lower down. Because aluminum is higher up, it's more reactive. And that means it's going to be able to replace the iron here in this single displacement reaction. So this reaction does take place as written. I've not balanced the equation. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of the video and in the description on how to do that. I've also not written the states in. These would all be solids in this reaction. So the type of reaction for Al plus Fe2O3 is a single replacement reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.